Hello, I am Harry. Hello, I am Jenny. Excuse me, can I step away for a while? We'll be back as soon. Sure, I will wait for you. Oh, Harry, you should not smoke here. Here is not the designated smoking area. Second hand and third hand smoke can cause harmfulness to others. I am sorry. I was craved for the tobacco just now. Have you thought about quitting smoking? Yes. I have tried but it seems hard to me. Quitting smoking will be hard, but I know you can do it. I am so proud of you for trying to quit smoking. I will be here for you. What is secondhand and thirdhand smoke? Secondhand smoke is the smoke that smoker breath out or from the burning end of cigarette. While thirdhand smoke is the residual tobacco form secondhand smoke that cleared form the air dust and surface. The three are concept of thirdhand smoke. These are some examples of 3R concept. One month later. How is it going on with your smoking cessation? It is not going well. I face the strong urge to smoke after quitting. Quitting smoking will be hard, but I know you can do it. You're not in this alone. Even if it gets tough, I'll be here for you. Why should I quit smoking? Is smoking causing any harmfulness to others and me? Long-term and short-term effects of second-hand and third-hand smoke. Smoking can cause many problems to you and others. Let me tell you the effects of second-hand and third-hand smokes. Firstly let me tell you about the short-term effect of second-hand smoke. This is the short-term effects of second-hand smoke. And this is the long-term effect of second-hand smoke. Wow they look scary. Next, I will tell you the effects of third-hand smoke. Children are the most vulnerable to this smoke. This is the short-term effect of third-hand smoke. It is likely to affect children because they like to touch their surroundings. This is the long-term effects of third-hand smoke. They are quite similar to second-hand smoke. Hi Ginny and Harry, let's move to my lab. I will explain to you the experiments that we have done to test the harmfulness of cigarettes. The experiments that have been done to test the harmfulness of second-hand and third-hand smoke. Experiment on second-hand smoke. Of 49,569 participants were included in the experiment. Result shows participants with second-hand smoking most of the adult time were more likely to have had hypertension, heart attack, and emphysema. In conclusion, Never smokers with the history of adult second-hand smoking had a higher probability of a subsequent diagnosis of lung cancer. Experiment on third-hand smoke The gut commensals predominantly aid in nutrient metabolism and protection against pathogen invasion. The experiment with 43 mother infant dyads consented to a carbon monoxide bread sample, bedside furniture nicotine wipes, infant urine samples, and stool collection. Result shows 78% of infants were born preterm, and infants exposed to higher levels of THS tend to have lower gut microbiome alpha -alpha diversity. Now, you should understand that with cigarette smoke, no hand will be safe. I hope you can realize the harmfulness of cigarette smoke and quit smoking. Is an interesting sharing session for me. I will try out some treatment to quit smoking. Thanks Rons for today's sharing session.
A pregnant woman and children are the groups at greater risk of exposed to secondhand and thirdhand smoke. Understood. I will quit smoking immediately by the recommended medical intervention. I promise I will never smoke again. There are several categories of people at greater risk of secondhand and thirdhand smoke. Pregnant women are at risk of secondhand smoke affects unborn children as well as their mothers. Secondhand smoke increases the risk for sudden infant death syndrome. Young children also get sick more often when they are exposed to secondhand smoke. Young children and animals cannot always choose to leave a smoke-filled room. The constant exposure increases the harmful effects of secondhand smoke. Young children and infants might have increased exposure to third-hand smoke due to their tendency to put objects in their mouth and touch affected surfaces. Children and non-smoking adults might be at risk of tobacco-related health problems when they inhale, swallow or touch substances containing third-hand smoke. On the other hand service industry workers such as restaurant servers and bartenders also are at risk to secondhand smoke. Anyone who works near groups of smokers may be unable to avoid secondhand smoke. I'm going to talk about the current issues regarding secondhand and thirdhand smoke. Our exposure to adults' tobacco smoke is taking a toll on kids' health in the healthcare system. Experts say about 4 in 10 children are exposed to secondhand and even thirdhand smoke. A group of researchers found that children exposed to tobacco smoke had an average of almost $120 more per each pediatric emergency department visit compared to unexposed children who do not live with a smoker. During the COVID-19 lockdown, an increase in parental smoking in the household led to significantly more children being exposed to cigarette smoke. Children mainly spent time in smoke-free areas before lockdown, such as at school and outside, but due to many parents working from home during the pandemic, many of these parents also brought their smoking habits into the home. Take home message. Cigarettes do not only harm the people who smoke but also harm people who near smoke. Thank you. This is all from Group F.